The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. Just as John taught his disciples, he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who are indebted to us. And do not subject us to the final test. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. As I have said a while ago, today we celebrate the feast of our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And when we celebrate this, we don't only remember Mary and her powerful intercession, but also the Rosary, a very powerful prayer. Now, many of us Christians sometimes think that we are putting Mary in equal footing with Christ. Parang pinapantay natin si Maria. Kasi nga sa ating Ibanghelyo, Jesus taught His disciples the Lord's Prayer. And He prayed that prayer Himself. Ngayon, meron naman tayong rosary na parang tinatawag nating Marian prayer na para bang ito rin ay patungkol kay Maria just as the Our Father is about Jesus and His prayer to God. So in order to clarify matters, dapat isipin natin, hindi itinuro ni Maria ang rosary. Ikalawa, hindi rin siya nagdasal ng rosary. Okay? Hindi niya dinasal na Hail Mary, full of grace. Nakakatuwa, di ba? Parang very proud siya sa sarili niya. So it was not Mary who taught us the rosary. Rather, it is the desire of Christians in all generations to honor Mary by praying the rosary. The rosary is a very biblical prayer kasi lahat ng sinasabi natin halos lahat nasa Biblia. Hail Mary, full of grace. Andun yan sa Biblia. Holy Mary, nasa Biblia. Glory be, nasa Biblia. And the other prayers are from tradition, like Hail Holy Queen from the 12th century. Yung dasal na, Oh my Jesus, di nagdagyan after the miracle in Fatima. So my dear friends, bakit inuulit-ulit natin tong dasal na ito? Alam niyo, para sa akin, Ganito kung paano kung maunawaan ang rosaryo at ang paulit-ulit na pagdarasal nito na kung minsan sinasabihan tayo ng mga born again and protestants, kayo mga dasal nyo, paulit-ulit lang. Okay? Parang hindi nang gagaling sa puso. Ganito po ang pag-unawa ko ng rosaryo at kung bakit natin ito inuulit-ulit. Minsan, may nagtanong sa akin, Father, how old are you? No? 
Bueno, kung sa babae siguro hindi nila itatanong yan. Sabi nila, how young are you? Kasi ayon ng kababaihan na malaman yung edad nila. Or at least most of them. No? So, how old are you? So, sabi ko, I'm already 67 years old. No? At sabi niya sa akin, Nako, tagal po na palang nabubuhay. No? Father, ang dami mo ng blessings, etc., etc. And then, ang sabi ko sa kanya, actually, I don't measure my life in years. Kasi pag ganun, mafufrustrate lang ako, madidepress. Kasi ang dami ng taong nagdaan sa buhay ko. Malapit na ako sa hukay. I don't measure my life in years. I measure my life in moments. Bakit? Sa pagkong iisipin natin, yung years, months, weeks, days, yung mga yan ay paraan lamang ng pagsukat ng panahon. Measures of time. But we don't live our life in years. We live our lives in moments. Katulad ngayon, this is a moment. See? And the moment becomes meaningful if you are really mindful of it. If you put meaning in it. If you put value in it. A moment does not disappear or fade in time. When we put value, meaning, through a wonderful experience that happens in that moment, we can relieve isa sa buhay natin paulit-ulit through our memory. See? Kaya nga binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng memory so we can recall happy moments. What is the Mass? The Mass is nothing but a memory. See? Nung sinabi ni Jesus, do this in memory of me. Parang sinasabi niya sa atin, when you do this thing in this moment, you remember me. See? Ganyan ang tingin ko sa rosaryo. It is remembering the moments in the lives of Jesus and Mary. Moments that have become meaningful and valuable for us. Why? Because those moments, when we recall, when we remember them, what happens? We somehow obtain grace. We obtain the presence of Jesus in our life. See? So, ganyan ang dapat pag tayo nagdarasal ng rosaryo. Parang ang inuulit-ulit natin are moments in the lives of Jesus and Mary. Joyful moments, sorrowful moments, moments filled with light, moments filled with glory. Alam niyo minsan, natanong ko yung isang security person namin dito na matagal nang narito at nagbabantay. Sabi ko sa kanya, Anong ginagawa mong 8 hours ang duty mo? Kung minsan 12 hours pa. Anong ginagawa mo? Nung minsan po, bored na bored ako. Tinitingnan ko laging oras ko. Nako, limang oras pa, apat na oras pa, tatlong oras pa. Later, nung nakita niya yung mga taong nagsisimba, nakikinig, nagdarasal, especially when they're praying the rosary, ginawa na rin niya, nagdasal siya ng rosaryo. He has the luxury of time. Hindi man niya magawa ang gusto niyang gawin. He has all the moments to pray the rosary. At ang sabi niya, hindi ko alam kung bakit kinikriticize nilang masyado yung pagdarasal natin ng paulit-ulit. Pero para sa akin, the rosary has made me better. A better father, a better husband. See? Ganun din yung isa kong kakilala na mainiti ng ulo, lalo na sa traffic. 
pag traffic na kung minsan napapamura daw siya, kung ano nung iniisip niya, until finally, he heard sa isang station, the praying of the rosary. So, kumuha siya, dinagay niya sa kanyang cellphone, at every time may traffic, pinapakinggan niya ron. And all throughout the journey, he's listening to the rosary and praying with that. So, my dear friends, do not count our lives in years, in weeks, in months. Kasi mabobor lang tayo. Count your days or your life in moments. Sabi nga nung isang poet, don't count the moments in your life. Make every moment count. See? And we make every moment count when we offer it to Jesus through Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.